welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Uh, in my last video, I took you shopping at Prattville Pickers, which is an antique flea market. Uh, it's the first time I'd ever been to that store. It's about an hour and a half um, away from where we live. I'd heard about it. My husband actually um, went there a couple of weeks ago, and he picked me up two items from there and told me that we definitely had to go back because I would love that store. Uh, so I'm also going to share with you the two things that he picked up for me when he went at the end of this video. But I want to share with you the items that I picked up whenever uh, we went shopping. Uh, so if you missed my last video, I took you through the store with me and just shared a few of the uh, booths and things that they had there. I definitely couldn't show you all of it because it is a huge store and I definitely want to go back there soon. Um, there was one thing that I left behind and I am just kicking myself for leaving it behind. It was one of those things that I thought that I could find uh, maybe at, for a better deal later on, but I really should have picked it up and I really hate that I didn't, but I hate that I didn't pick it up, but I did pick up a few good things while I was there. Some of them are bigger pieces. So I'm going to show those to you last, uh, but I have a couple of other items that I picked up from a local antique flea market. Uh, before we went to Prattville Pickers and I saved it because I knew I wanted to include it in this video as well. So I'm going to share that with you first and then I'll show you all the items that I picked up from Prattville Pickers and then also the two things my husband got me from there too. Okay, so I had to stop the video right here as I was editing it because I actually got the piece that I was telling you I was so sad that I left behind. It's this vintage wood stool, and it was $17.50. Hold on, let me show it to you. My little helper's in here. But I love it so much. I've been on the hunt for one of these. And this is the thing I was telling you. I was so upset with myself for leaving behind. One of the men that coaches with Kenny was actually driving through the area on his way home from a family Christmas. And I got Kenny to ask him if it wouldn't be too much trouble if he would stop at the store and get it for me if they still had it. So he is my new favorite person because he did and got this for me. So I'm so excited. So I wanted to share that with you and I will be styling it soon. And then um, the same friend actually picked this up for me at a different antique store um, whenever he was visiting some family for Christmas. And this was $11.00. A little over eleven dollars so i'm gonna try to find a place for it on my basket wall but i just had to include these two things uh right here in this uh, video because i just was so excited to finally have my stool and i love my basket as well okay, so the first thing that i got was this dolly i have uh become a little obsessed with collecting these and i think i paid two dollars for this but I just love the flower and the detail on there. And it's like this pretty um, white worn color. It kind of has like some stains around the edges, but I love that. I think it just gives it a little bit more character. And I have found that you can put these in many different places. Um, so pick that up for, I believe it was $2. And then I also picked up this small crock. I love this and it actually still has the um, like cork inside and let me see if I can take it out. I probably won't display it with the cork in there. Let me see if I can get it out. Yeah. So it comes with this in there and it's kind of worn, you can see, but I am just planning to um, display it like this. I have some ideas of some things I want to put in there and i just love the color of this and it said small crock i think it was five dollars five or six dollars and then i also that day picked up this um i have a wooden spoon it's not antique but i bought it from a store in tennessee and it kind of looks vintagey and it's almost the same color as this so my idea is to like maybe display them in here with um, my little dolly hanging out or something, um, you know, just to give you an idea of what it would look like. But isn't that so cute? I'm planning to put this in my hutch. Um, I know my hutch is about out of room <laughs> with putting things in there, but that's what I picked up from there. And then I also went to one other um, local flea market and I picked up this and it was 
$5.75. And I love this as well. It's another crock. It has the lid on there. And I just love that. So, like, you could even, like, put the lid beside it. And I'm not sure what all I want to do with this yet. But I like that it has... Uh, the option that it can be closed or opened um, so I just think that's really neat and I thought that was a good price too like I said I got this this at a local uh, flea market store and it was $5.75 so I just love this pretty brown color um, so I'm excited to play around with this and see what I come up with in my hutch but now let's move on to Prattville Pickers. So I wanna show you the small things I got first and then I'll show you the bigger items and then the two things that Kenny picked up for me a couple of weeks ago. But I got this um, small brown croc. I was looking for crocs when I went. Uh, I really wanted a bigger one. Um, I'm still on the hunt for a big one, but I picked this up and now that I'm looking at it, I haven't even looked at these two things together, but they look really well together. They're almost the same color, so that's cool. Um, but this was $4.50, and I could even put, um, you know, the little fork and spoon in there if I wanted to. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. But just displaying different crocs together, I think, are really cute. And I was excited to pick that up. And obviously have a theme here with crocs and dollies, because I picked up this two-pack two pack doilies um and one's a little bit bigger than the other but they have the same design on them and i got both of these for five dollars so i thought that was a good deal you can see in comparison to this one that it's a pretty good size and so i have multiple ideas for these and i've just been trying to pick them up when i see them and they're a good price because sometimes i find them and they're a little bit more than i would want to pay uh, but i thought for that size and for two of them for five dollars that that was a good deal so now that i've showed you all the crocs and dollies uh let me show you the two bigger pieces that i got i'm so excited about okay the first are these pieces and aren't they so pretty these kind of look like some that i have hanging on my wall uh beside my hutch but this actually has like the rod iron piece in the middle and it has the chippy wood around it and i love the color of it i got two of these i am planning to style them somewhere in my home in an upcoming video I'm not gonna tell you where because I want you to come back and watch my decorating videos, but look how pretty these are. I have seen these um, different places, but these were under $30. I think they were 26 or 28, and I think that's such a great deal, uh, especially with the rod iron piece in the middle, and they're a little bit of a different color, but similar enough that I can style them together. So I'm so excited to style these. I think they're beautiful. This was one thing my husband told me about. Um, and if you watch my video, they had a lot of different ones to choose from, but these were the ones that I went with. Um, and I'm so glad that I picked these up and I can't wait to decorate with them. Um, but like I said, make sure you come back and watch my decorating videos and you'll see where I'm planning to put those and then now let me show you my other big piece okay let me see if I can get it in the frame but I got this window and I love that it has this on the bottom just gives it a little bit more um, detail and this was only five dollars and it is in great shape I mean it's really old and chippy but I love that and I am planning to put this somewhere too when I decorate. Um, I have some layering ideas for this. So make sure you come back so you can see where I put it. But I just love it. I have a window that's a little bit bigger than this on my wall in my living room that I have some pictures displayed in. I'm not planning to put pictures in this one. I'm going to leave it just as is. But... I just love this and five dollars I mean you just can't beat that so that's my other big piece that I got 
Um, so now I'm going to show you the two things that Kenny picked up for me when he went a few weeks ago. Okay, so I've already styled them, but the first one is this washboard. The bottom of it is galvanized, and then you can tell the top is like a chalkboard. But I put it up here on my shelf in my laundry room with my other two washboards. I love how this looks. I think Kenny said he paid like two or three dollars for this. But I think it just looks so good, and I love when I can put things in groups of three. All right, my other one is um, a rolling pin, and I have it down here with the rest of them. But he picked this one up for me, and it was, I think he said five or six dollars. But I love it, and I just have it styled right now underneath my Christmas tree with the rest of my rolling pins. But I am planning to um, display all of these together whenever I redecorate my hutch after Christmas. So I'm so excited to add that to my little collection. All right, friends, well, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my antique uh, flea market thrift haul of the items that I picked up recently. And make sure that you come back soon because we're going to be decorating with all these pieces. I can't wait to um, style my new Crocs and dollies and then also my bigger pieces of um, new decor that I got. So make sure you come back and check out those videos and I will see you all in the very next one. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.